My first vigil, I think it was my first, I, I, I came to the floor in the early morning and I sat with a person who um, clearly had a lot of people in the community thinking about him. He actually died while I was with him. And right before he died, he opened his eyes and he looked at me and I was able to tell him, you, you are not alone. You are with people who love you and they're all thinking of you. Now, I like to think he was able to die with that reminder of how, how well he was loved by people. I was an ICU nurse for many years early in my career and it always bothered me when patients were dying in my ICU that I didn't have time to stay with them even when they begged me to sit with them. I would go over frequently to hold their hand, but then I would have other duties, meds to give or you know, other treatments that I needed to give, so I couldn't spend the time that I wanted to when the family wasn't there. Every person would want the comfort of another human being with them at the time of their death. And to provide that dignity from a, you know, a nursing point of view is extremely important to me. The word I would use to describe the NOTA program would be respect, that everyone deserves at least the opportunity to have someone at the end of life. One of the things that's very, very important that we really cherish here at Hartford Hospital is caring for our patients in their time of need. And patients can be extremely frightened when they're exposed to a hospital environment and to illness. And I think that's never more so than in somebody's terminal stages in their final days. The NOTA program is able to bring comfort and caring to a patient at a time when they need it most. I think love, because in our lives, I think love is the most important thing. And to have that during your life and at the time of your death would be very important. I, I feel like it's actually a valuable gift um, to be able to be with someone when they're in their last hours of their life, um, just so that they're not alone. So someone's there to hold their hand, um, talk to them, you know, whatever's required, reading the Bible, um, playing some soft music. It's been very rewarding to actually give that time to someone, you know. It's time that I don't mind giving up to give to someone else so that they won't be alone. We save people's lives here every day. But people do die here, and they are deserving of care, and they're deserving of compassion. And when people, are particularly when they're alone, they're deserving of having someone be with them. We're surrounded by people when we come into this world. We should have someone with us when we exit it.